Hey everyone, welcome back. This is the Paper and Pen Girl. Um, wanted to share something with you real quick and forgive the jerking a little bit. I'm, I'm doing this recording real quick. I have to run, um, but I wanted to just set this tripod up and record this real quick for you before I start writing in this next week. This is going to be my setup. This is my monthly um, setup for November. I do not do too much to my monthly pages. I do make it just a little pretty, pretty enough that it makes me go ooh um, and makes me want to start using it, of course. Um, you, If you have a planner and you don't want to use it, that's definitely a bad thing. So this is why I you know, decorate this a little bit, not too much. I do mark off special things that's happening. So we have a week off of school. We have two birthdays this month. Um, and I always, you know, use some sort of washi tape or sticker to mark off my birthdays. It draws my attention as quick soon as I look on the page. So that's my monthly spread for November. Um, if I flip the page over, you will see this is going to be the beginning of the first week of November as well. Now, um, what I'm doing this month with, because the week um, starts on Wednesday so I have this whole left side of the page that's going to be available for me to do something with so I decided to try doing my weekly goals or my monthly goals by week on this side so whatever my monthly goals are which actually I am using the notes and thoughts page to write down some of what my monthly goals are and then I will just transfer them over on to into this section so I'm going to be listing what I'd like to do in week one week two week three and week four um, in my planner I do like to have this clear um, uh, I guess you'd call it a bookmark or marker um, all of these can come off this is the planner deluxe planner cover case the clear um, plastic I just use the plastic case and cut it down to size to you so that I can have it's it, this um, divider is a little bit larger than my page just by a hair just a smidgen a bit larger just so that it will give the pages a little extra layer of protection so I do like that I also just go ahead and put a mini um, monthly calendar on there I I need to see the month at a glance as well because I need to be able to know that hey you are this far into the month, so I'll be crossing the days off. Um, you're this far in the month. You need to get on your game. You don't have time to waste or you know mess around. You need to get on your game. It's easily snapped back in. The holes are made and the slits are put in. Um, and it, it's just there. And it worked out really, it's been working out really well for me. Before, um, I would just be list, looking at it a week at a time. And it would not seem like the time was rolling by. So with this, I'm actually seeing um, how fast the time is going. So this is my first page. Let's take that back out. That's my first page. And these are all washi taped. Um, this is a sticker from the 365 Mambi um, fitness plan. Um, fitness. Did I get the fitness? It's not the fitness. It's a different one. It's not the fitness um, sticker book because I don't have the fitness one. I didn't get the fitness one because I was I didn't work out enough. I don't work out enough to use the fitness one right now. Um, and so that's from one of the sticker books. I'm not sure which one and I'll show you why I'm not sure in a moment. And this is also from um, Michael's, a washi tape from one of the tubes from Michael's. I don't know the name of the tube, but it has the butterflies, um, this particular washi as well as this one right here I do like the this sticker it's also another Mambi sticker a little progress each day adds up to big results and I thought that was so fitting to start this week off in dividing up what I need to do by the weeks and listing the different tasks for the week that I'd like to do now the reason behind um, and this is my first week this is our first week because it does go from the first to the fourth so that's my first week. I did go ahead and already pre-plan um, the first week. I have a few stickers on the second week. Let me, let me roll that. And I love this because when I open up my planner, all I'm doing is just turning this tab and I'm already at my week layout, whatever that current week is. 
I did go ahead and start on the second um, week already. So um, I do have, you know, listed something here uh, that I need to get done. So I do have some future planning going on already. Normally I would do it on a st uh, sticky notes. But that one is pretty firm and pretty solid. Today is a new day, so I've already started laying down a few more stickers that I do like. So I lay down stickers ahead of time before I actually finish planning. So most of the times I do not know where um, those stickers come from. I know there's a birthday coming up, so I already put this sticker down. Um, and this helps me so that planning and decorating doesn't take so long for me. It really does not take a long time because I've already gone ahead throughout the whole entire month, already started um, doing what I need to be, what, what needs to get done. So for, um, I've already started something in December, as you can see. So not on the weekly, but I went ahead um, and put the dates in for December already. Um, this I think is gonna be the color palette for January, uh, February. Um, I've already put the month here. I'm gonna peel these off and put them on this once that particular time comes around. And March, I already got that. I need to do these next three. I just put them in today. So I need to go ahead and do those. But another reason why I do not know where the stickers come from is because as I go through the sticker books and I see stickers that I like, I take the stickers off. Because if I want, know that I want that sticker in the, in my personal size planner, I'm gonna take the stickers off and put them in the personal pl size planner as my inspiration. If I know that I want it in my memory planner, I'm gonna peel it off because I have something like this in my memory planner as well. Um, I don't remember which young lady it is that I saw on YouTube that did, the, did um, something similar to this but just not inserted it in her planner. She used wax paper and all the stickers she wanted to use to plan, she'll put them on the wax paper. Brilliant idea, I thought. And so um, I didn't wanna have that loose sheet of paper. So I just went ahead and used one of the dividers that the planner um, came with and put the wax paper over. I glued the wax paper to it. It can come off, but I glued the wax paper, lightly glued the wax paper to the divider and so now I just have it on here. So when I'm ready to use the sticker, all I'm doing is just peeling it up off of the wax paper. Um, so I just recently took, put that one on there and this one on the back. So uh, as I'm going through the book, I see it. I say, oh my gosh, I want that in my personal planner. I am going to put it on here. Um, the ones that I had for the upcoming weeks, that's where I had them. And I went ahead and I just took them off and put them on here. Um, and I figured since I was doing that, might as well do that, you know, so we get caught up. That's how we get caught up. We see one pretty sticker. The next thing you know, we're spending, you know, 45 minutes uh, playing with our stickers. <laughs> so I'm not um, complaining about it because it does give me a lot of um, relief. It's a good stress res uh, release for me. It makes me happy. Um, and I've actually uh, been more productive and on task since I've had this um, Recollections personal planner system that I've been using. I will go through and share that with you all one day one when I um, have perfected a little bit more because right now I'm still moving things around, taking things out, adding things in, which I think that will almost always be the case. However, you know, once you're still kind of new, it's gonna be more of that moving around and shifting parts and pieces because you're just new and you need to figure out what's going to work for you in the long run. So what I have figured out is that I know this type of planner works for me. Um, this is not going anywhere. This is something that I have to have um, because this works for me. So. Thank you for um, staying tuned, watching. Let me know if you, um, you know, take out stickers as well and put them on anything on your pages. Let me know as well um, if you find yourself going ahead and putting down your tasks, your weekly tasks um, by week, if you break them down that way as well and if you find that to be quite effective for you. So go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you like the video, leave your comments in the box below. I welcome your comments and suggestions. I am tired and I still have a lot to do. It's Friday evening, 
which means it's a rush for me. I do appreciate your time, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.